Now, these social rules are not written anywhere. You may actually never find them anywhere for you to read and understand. But hey, you need to possess them if you are to be respected and if you are to become a more sociable, likable person who can easily be respected and who people can find easy to deal with and live with. Number one, never you ever give your advice where it's not asked. No matter how important you think that advice of yours is, if somebody is not asking for that advice, please keep with your advice. Now, number two is mind your business. Unless something involves you directly, just stay out of it. Even if you find it so hard to get out of it, simply stay out of it. Don't meddle. Don't poke your nose where it's not necessary. The other simple rule that you need to understand and put into practice is never you call anybody continuously for more than two times. If they are not responding to your phone call, and if they are not returning your phone call, just assume that they are in the midst of something which is more important to them, which is more crucial to them compared to your phone call. Give it a break. They will either call you back or they may not. You can get to it later, maybe later in that day or later the next day or some other time. Don't become a problem by overcalling somebody who is not responding to your phone call or your phone calls. Now, always say thank you whenever somebody is offering help. No matter how tiny you think that help is, say thank you. It's not going to cost you anything, but it's going to make you earn some respect from that person. And that person will always feel appreciated. Don't be too quick to judge and too quick to rush to make conclusions. Because you will end up misinterpreting some things or misrepresenting some things and then you'll come off as a bad person. So avoid rushing to making those conclusions and rushing to judge. Sometimes things are not what they appear to be. Then the other thing is, don't visit where you are not invited. And even if you are or were invited, please don't overstay your welcome. You'll come off as somebody who doesn't know his or her bounds or her boundaries. Please ensure not outlive your invitation or your welcome even when you are invited. Learn to always return money that you borrowed from somebody even before that person that lent that money to you remembers to ask you to return it. Don't wait to be reminded to return that money. Return that money as soon as possible because I am so sure that nobody reminded you to go and borrow that money. Now that you got that kind of self-drive to go out and borrow, please return that money back to the lender before he or she wakes up to remind you to return that money. And this also applies to these other small things that you can get from people. Things like books, novels, pens, etc, etc. If you get it from somebody, please return it. Take it back because it will show your integrity and good character and will turn you into somebody that somebody else can count on. They can trust you with even bigger things. Now, never ask questions that are not necessary. For example, why are you not married yet? Why don't you have children? Why did you sell your car? Why did you sell your house? Why don't you have this or the other? I am so sure that such 
are none of your problems. You also have to remember that many people are struggling with a lot that you can't even put your finger to. Unless somebody is opening up to talk about something like that, please don't dig it out of them. People are struggling and are dealing with a lot. You don't need to add on to their already troubled situations or lives. Now, the other social rule that we all need to know is to never interrupt people when they are talking. Even if you are part of the discussion or part of the talk, always allow people to say it all, speak it all, and then hear them speak it all. Filter it all as it has been spoken or said out. And then after filtering, you can go ahead and give your own opinion or response. Just listen through, filter everything, and then respond. The other habit and the other social rule that we all need to have is to never, ever, you know, talk about somebody's weight. If you are to talk about somebody's weight, just compliment them. Speak it out on a positive note, on a positive side of life. For example, compliment how well they look. Compliment their looks. Now, if that person is willing and wants to talk about, for example, weight loss or weight gain, they will talk about it. But don't be the first person to know to start telling somebody, oh, you need to lose that extra weight or you need to gain some extra weight. That extra weight is their problem. It's not your concern. If somebody is not talking about their weight, if they're not talking about their either weight losing journey, please stay out of their weight issues. Some people are struggling with diseases. Others are struggling with maybe eating disorders. Others have health conditions that are pushing them, you know, into gaining weight. Some are trying so hard to shade off that weight, but they are failing. So don't think that they don't know where they stand as far as that kind of weight is concerned. And finally for today, learn to praise people in public and then criticize them in privacy or in private or privately. Almost everybody loves to be praised in public. If you are to criticize, do it in private because only a few people will take positive criticism or even negative criticism when it's done in public. Majority prefer it done in the private. So praise them publicly and then, if you are to criticize, no matter how good the criticism is, kindly do it in public. And this actually involves almost everybody, including children. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are meeting me for the very first time, my name is Rachel. And if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Remember to like. Remember to share and leave down a comment to let me know what you think about today's upload. Remember here on Stream Media UG, we love to stream and flow with you. And until then, may God bless you. I'll be sure glad and delighted to speak to you in our next video. See you then.